Aaron's Anxiety friends. Welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I'm your host, Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. <laughs> Hence the name. So um, today, let's we gotta talk about control. Um, so a big thing with anxiety and what causes a lot of anxiety is the fact that there's some things that we do not have control of. Um, and that gives us anxiety because we want to have control over it. When that's a lot of different things. So that's whether it's health anxiety, we have no control if something horrible is going to happen to your health. You really, I mean, you can do your best to eat right, be healthy, um, exercise, all that other fun stuff. Try to stay away from bad things. Uh, but sometimes it's just the luck of the draw that some people have a problem. So there's nothing that you can control about it. Um, same thing with anything else. You're trying to control something that you cannot. Uh, so for me, I had health anxiety. I was also afraid of death. I would stew and stew about death, man. I'd just go over and over in my head about it. I cannot control death. Death is inevitable. You gotta do it. So, we're all gonna have to be there someday. Um, just kind of enjoy the time we have now. Um, but whether it's anxiety that, anxiety about your job, anxiety about whatever. So typically the way it works out in our brains is that, hey, there's a stressful moment. If we stress about this, maybe we can come up with an answer or a solution or you know something uh, to make the situation better. And so our brains get caught in a vicious loop when it's something that we cannot control. So you get anxiety when your kid is playing out by the road. So, anxiety, hey, get away from the road. Come back over here. Everything's fine. So your anxiety fix that situation or help you fix that situation. But when it comes to certain things like death, health, um, phobias, um, sometimes you just cannot control it as much as you want to. And, uh, you know, you can have avoidance behavior for things like heights, arachnophobia, spiders, snakes, anything that you could be afraid of. Uh, however, there's some things you can't get around. So if you have the phobia of talking to people, uh, being out in public, uh, things like that, you you can't get around that. You're going to have to get out there and you're going to have to face that demon. Um, so you need to understand that you cannot control that. So, the message for today is that we need to give up control. We need to give up trying to control it because you, it's a losing battle and you're just going to drive yourself nuts trying to do it. So, um, the best way to describe um, anxiety for someone who's trying to get through it and trying to heal from it, not people that are wallowing in it, but people that are trying to heal from it and get through it and taking proactive steps to be better. Um, it's going to happen. You know, I always tell you to be patient. It takes time. The best way to describe it, though, I was thinking about it. The best way to describe it is anxiety is a lot. I mean, a lot. Like a Roman candle. And if you have ever played with fireworks, uh, Roman candles are the thing that's in a tube like that. And you light the one end of it and it shoots little fireballs. And so that's exactly what anxiety is like. Once you light that fuse, you're stewing over stuff and you're sitting there lighting that fuse. Well, eventually all that stewing is gonna light that fuse and then boom, Roman candle ball. Boom, fireballs are shooting. Now, once you light the candle and once it starts going, there's nothing that you can do to stop this. You are just hanging on for the ride. And this is exactly what it's like when you have high anxiety and you go into depersonalization and you go into uh, all the crazy stuff that goes along with our anxiety, these, these fears of flight or fight or flight uh, reactions that happens. You are literally on the other end of this firework, this Roman candle, just go boom, 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 and you're just waiting for it to stop. Eventually it will stop. This isn't a forever thing. But while the first time you've ever lit one, if you're like me, the first time I ever lit a Roman candle, I was like, oh, oh God, and I was, cause I was like 10, you know what I mean? And then they hand me this, this, this gun, <laughs> this gun of fireballs. And I'm like, ah, ah, 
ah, you're just like holding it in a safe direction. That is what we're doing with our anxiety. We're just trying to hold it in a safe direction, hoping and waiting for it to stop. So you gotta know that at some point, just like the Roman candle, if you're afraid of it, you got to just stop trying to control it. You can't control those fireballs coming out of there. So you need to let go, point it in a safe direction and wait and be patient. Pointing in the safe direction, that is you taking steps to do the right thing for your anxiety. You know, the last thing you wanna do is point it at another box of fireworks, right? That's what some people are doing. Some people are wallowing in it and they're using it to light other problems in their lives. What we need to do is point this anxiety in a safe direction. Get over this anxiety until these problems stop. Until the fireballs stop coming, that's how long we need to hold it. All right, friends. So I'm going to leave it here. What do you think about this? Why don't you think about how it affects you, how it affects your life, and how can you re-steer that Roman candle in a safe direction until the stuff is gone? All right, friends. Until next time, uh, like, comment, subscribe. I love to hear from you guys. You guys are so wonderful. Um, and today is yours. Make it yours. Anxiety is not forever. You're going to get through it. All right, friends. Until next time, I'm Aaron. You're awesome. I'll see you in the next video.